on this one. Okay, let's see. Problem set four. And go into R. Oops. Oops. Okay, uh, oops, our script problem set four your name. We save it. Oh. And uh, you save it in the folder on your laptop. Set in working directory, oops. Again, session, set in working directory, choose directory, data sets. What we passed in it. Run it just one more time. Uh, Important data, data set. Okay, file. And we need, let's see what we need. We need login and foreign principles. File, import data set, import from Excel. Oops. Browse. Okay, let's see. Lobbying and foreign principles. Open. Okay, so here we uh, year, obviously numeric. And I think I asked you to uh, uh, do a correlation consulting spending, numeric. Sales and number of consulting contracts, numeric. Import, yep. How do I save our script? Uh, like, this is how you save it. Oops. Uh, again, uh, when you open a new R script, it, gi it gives you, like, let me show one more time, R script. You click here and it gives you an option. You name it and you choose a folder and you choose the folder. I ask you to create a folder on, on your laptop for this class. Oops. And uh, actually, you can do the same here. Oops. We copy it. Oops. And it gives you the code uh, for importing it one more time if you need it. And it probably will not like this stuff. And this one. And you see, uh, the name is uh, really long. I don't like it. Uh, so I rename it. I renaming data set. Oh. I like abbreviations and also lobbying foreign principles. Oops. And this operator allows you to name whatever in any way you like. And once you start taping it, oops. You run it. And now you have the same data set, but uh, it will be easier to uh, uh, to handle. Like code will be shorter. So checking class of variables. 
shaking class of rebels class oops lfp name new name for the data set and again you can give any name so we need consulting spending oops we run it yep it's numeric and again since the code will be almost the same oops over here we just uh, ncc number of consulting contracts we run it again yeah it's numeric uh, and let's see I struggle with creating a subset for 2016 to 2021. Mm -hmm. okay. Yeah, that's why I haven't turned it in because I'm stuck at that part. Okay, let's let's do it. Creating subset for and what did I ask? Uh, 1621. 20, Sixteen twenty one, and I I think I I had this code before sometimes. So let's look around. I don't remember the code exactly. So let's see In the code. Yep. Okay. Maybe here. Ah, yeah, this is the code. Again, oh. you will never copy, uh, write your code, you copy past it, and then you edit it. So, oops. What R script do you have the code in or document? Um, let's see. Castell for any correlation. And I think you have it. Ah, yeah, over here in module four. Code to run correlation. So, and let's uh, edit the code. Again, you, will, you never run your code, you edit it. Okay, let's see. Uh, the uh, the task is to do sixteen twenty one. So uh, let's do this. And uh, I already have a new name for the data set, right? So LFP. And again, we have a new name here, right? As I said before. The way you edit the code, you change the uh, name of the data set and name of the variable. And let's see, we need 16. So we replace it. Yeah, now code gets shorter and easier to handle. And again, we replace the old name with more convenient name. This is why, for most reason, people rename data sets LFP year. Okay, let's see what happens. And we click on it. And we only have, you see, uh, from 16 to 21. So the code did what it was supposed to do. And uh, let's see what's next. Uh, plot uh, the variables. Uh, I remember there was some code. Ah, did we check uh, if it's numeric? Let's let's. Ah, we already checked, so. Okay, create scatter plot. Oops. 
we copy and paste it. Okay, so we have a different name a little bit. So let's see what happens. Yep. Yeah, we created a scatterplot. Yeah, it kind of makes sense. It's not ideal, but uh, you kind of see that uh, the more consulting contracts a particular country has, uh, the total number of consulting spending is kind of going higher. Again, it's not ideal we have this shit, but you see a trend. And I think I do remember uh, any correlation. I think I do remember the code for correlation. I think it's this one. And uh, and you just do this. Oops. The more copy pasting you do, the le the fewer mistakes you do. Okay. Let's see. Oops. Yep. So uh, can anyone interpret the results? Um, it is statistically significant because the p-value is less than 0.05. Yep. And uh, the correlation is positive because it's above uh, it's above zero and yep. it's weak because it's between zero and point three. Yep, yep, that's it. That was the assignment which was due uh, half an hour ago. Uh, okay, let's do this. Uh, I might be. Uh, let me stop the recording. Ah, here it is. Uh, I know, not, not this thing. 